Oh my god, look at him go. Huh? You see that? The ricochets, the ricochets are awesome. Hey guys, my name is X Factor, and today we're breaking down one of the newer mechanics in Battlefield 1 called the Ricochets or Deflection. There's a new audio and video cue, as you can see in here, as the shots go off into space. But sometimes they do damage. One thing to note is we are in a custom server, a rental server. Private servers aren't available yet. Therefore, there is no HUD until 20 people load up and hit the deploy button. So one thing to know about deflections or ricochets is they can do damage. Usually it's a reduced amount of damage. It's any projectile, whether it's an AT rocket, K-bullet, Another tank shell, anything that flies through the air can be affected. Whether it could do damage to tanks, heavy armor, or not. Even the HMGs, which is a great way to figure out what angles the ricochets and deflections are from and what parts you have to worry about. And like previous Battlefield titles, it's about where you're standing and what angle you're hitting from, including your verticality. As you can see, a lot of these top-down shots on these angles simply are not working on the front and the back slope of the heavy tank. Of all the stuff that we tested, the heavy tank ricocheted the most. Now, steep angles like this are going to ricochet all the time. They might not even do one or so damage. Remember, it will be a reduced damage. So if you're used to your cable hitting a light tank for 8, 9, or 10, it might be reduced. So just like previous Battlefield titles, it makes sense to line up straight ahead and shoot straight in. If you're on the side of a tank, maybe adjusting over five or six feet because that could be the difference of five damage on a heavy tank and one damage on a heavy tank. And we're gonna show you, uh, for instance, spotted. with the HMG. Again, you can go into any empty server with a buddy and figure this out. Here you can see these top down attacks again. On the very top of the tank, it absorbs the damage, but again, this thing doesn't do damage but it would if it was a cable or AT rocket. So no, no there. You're gonna have reduced damage or no damage, but at the very tip top, you'll be fine with full damage. And there you see another angle on the front of the tank to extreme. Obviously you would have a ricochet, deflection, and minimal damage there. So the land ship, something that is very popular in Battlefield 1, you see it all the time. This is pretty easy to get full damage hits on. Your angle is a deciding factor. Your verticality is, of course, a deciding factor, but it's much more forgiving. There is a lot more flat spaces on this. And anytime you don't hear the pew, the battlefront laser sound, basically, or you see a round go up in the air, that's going to be full damage. But there are a couple weird spots on the land ship. But anytime you approach a tank or piece of armor, try to give it a 90 degree or straight on angle, kind of like the way I'm looking right now. So here's one of the instances when you get on the actual side turrets. Be careful. The lower and the upper part, if you can hit it, those are going to ricochet and deflect all day. So try to hit them straight on. The other thing about actually hitting the turrets and why you want to aim for those, it disables them. And no matter how many wrench monkeys he has, the only way those turrets can become undisabled is if the tanker, the pilot, actually manually repairs from inside. And of course, you can stop it with a field gun, a nade of any sort that does damage to it, a cable, AT rocket, anything that does damage to armor will stop that process. So sometimes it's best to actually hit these side turrets, especially if it's in the process of capping or defending a flag. So here you see some of these longer angles are tough. You're better off actually hitting the front of the tank from this angle to make sure you maximize your damage, whether it's a cable, AT rocket, or any other projectile in the game that can hurt tanks. And sometimes the best thing to do is reposition or hold your fire. Is the tank creeping forward? Does he not see you? Is he creeping backwards? Wait to make sure to line up a 90 degree angle on a flat surface and try not to hit any irregularities on the land ship, let alone some of the top angles on the heavy tank, which can be absolutely brutal if you're firing from dead ahead and your AT rocket or cable goes a little high. You're going to have a mad reflection and minimal to no damage done. So hopefully you guys found this guide helpful breaking down the ricochet and deflection mechanics in Battlefield 1. Try this out, see what you think, and of course, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching and hanging out. 
We will see you soon. This will be close, right? Oh yeah. This, this is my mine. Y'all back up. That bullet went through your head. <laughs> oh. Okay, that one did. <laughs>